Hello, um, my name's Dan Young. I work at a UK cloud foundry consultancy called Engineer Better. And I'm hoping in the next five minutes you'll get an appreciation of Bosch, not just as a operational tool, but as a, an abstraction layer that can change the way we look at public clouds particularly. And uh, watching the talks today, um, I noticed there was a couple of points that set me up quite nicely. Um, the first was when Julian Fisher was talking about um, his business experience with having to desperately get off OpenStack very quickly. He's got a revenue generating service on an OpenStack cloud that he had to move to AWS. And he's able to do that. He was able to lift up his entire production platform and drop it somewhere else and save part of the business. The other thing I noticed today was um, Nick asked the panel, um, where could Bosch go in five years? And I'm hoping to maybe explore some of that question a bit further. So the first thing I'm going to ask is what makes Bosch special? Um, some would say it's the dubious honor of being both simultaneously the best and worst software in the world. But I think, I think there's two other reasons that it's special. The first is it's open source. And um, the third reason is it works just like this travel adapter that I'm carrying on me that allows me to move around the world and not have to think about where I'm going to use my laptop. I just take it for granted that I can take an electrical appliance anywhere, plug it in again, and it's going to work, and I don't have to, take, I don't have to think about that. So to sort of think about how we got to the point where I can take that for granted, you have to think a bit about the work of people like Simon Wardley. Um, so he's basically been educating the world for over a decade on commoditization and commoditization of IT particularly and how computing is basically evolving to a state of being a utility service. And you can say that cloud computing is just a marketing term for computer utility. Um, and it's all, driven by it's all driven by competition. So the only, way, the only way to stop this process of things evolving up that chain is to stop competition, which obviously isn't going to happen. And when, uh, so all IT activities are sort of um, moving somewhere along that line. And when you throw open source into the mix, it dramatically accelerates the evolution uh, to a higher state. Now, we've all been watching this sort of one horse race for a long time, uh, and we accept high costs uh, going into AWS, and we just live with it. But in possession of Bosch, you might be able to see the world differently when new competitors start to arrive. And even in a one-horse race, that one horse can still have bad days. And building distributed systems at scale um, is hard because, um, you know, people make mistakes. And even when you can hire the best engineers in the world, things still go wrong. A cat will run across your keyboard and set off some uh, cascading failure. Things will break. And um, systems that, op that the suppliers operate in are themselves fragile. So, you know, there is no institution on earth that is immune from global political or economic events. I think we've learned that from the banks. And if your supplier has one name, it is effectively a single point of failure. So really, I think we get to a point where when Bosch is brought into this picture, we've got multiple hyperscale clouds and we can feasibly use them. Uh, we're imagining them as modular building blocks, as IaaS building blocks. Uh, and we don't just have to lock ourselves into one of these silos. And open source is powering that new uh, multi-cloud era. So hopefully you'll all get to start using the Bosch CPIs and um, contribute to them. And uh, hopefully we can accelerate that a bit further. Thank you very much.